Okay, there's a lot of noises going on. I think one of it was the wind. And this turned into like a herd of elk, I think. I think there's about 20 or 25 of them. Uh, right back on that little pond that crop past. So. All right, I'm about five miles in. So I got 24 to go. Eight hours of hiking. Uh, my goal is um, just average three miles an hour hiking and then two hours worth of breaks. And that should get me to I-15 by uh, 4.30. So, that's the goal. Mm -hmm, that's a lot of sheep. Yeah, I thought I saw the gut hood lights. Maybe there's the um, dog. And around the sheep and it can be kind of bad. I right, got about five miles uh, to the, uh, the interstate. Um, it's starting to thunder but that's blowing north so I'll see blue skies ahead of me. So maybe I can outrun it. Yeah, I should get to the road or the interstate around 3.45. And that being picked up to 4. I'm sorry, till 5. But the um, trail runs parallel to the interstate for like two and a half miles, which I didn't realize. And I'm not 100% sure where I'm getting picked up on um, the interstate. So I think there's a fence where, I'm, where it's going to be. So, or there might be an access ramp or something. I just now go under the interstate, so there might be some place there. Uh, I'll just see when I get there. If not, I'll just wait for an hour. And then, in an ideal world, I just hike along the interstate until it turns off, until it's two and a half miles knocked off. And I was just checking Facebook about fire closures. Looks like it's been expanded. So, I think the uh, staying on the trail as long as possible um, probably isn't going to work. So. Looks like I've got about a hundred mile road walk. Which I can probably knock out in two days. We'll see. I just, I'll research more tonight once I get to the hotel room. Because I just glanced at it. I didn't really uh, look at the map or anything like that. Okay. Getting a little sprinkles. But, I'm almost under blue skies.